Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have for you today is the High Grade Universal Century Narrative Gundam C Packs. Now, I did not really care for the Narrative uh, Gundam when I first seen it in just, you know, the A Pack, but, you know, I decided that with all the cycle frame, yes, it still looks a little goofy, but I think I can go ahead and change that for the better. So, I'm probably going to put just a tad bit of work into this model, uh, just to make it shine a little bit more on my shelf. I'm not going to do a full paint job, but I think I'm going to paint some parts here and there. Uh, but ultimately, it does look pretty good. Um, it, it's very much uh, reminiscent to the Unicorn Gundam, and I know it definitely takes uh, a lot of aspects from both Unicorn and the new, but ultimately, Ultimately, this thing does look pretty damn good, and uh, just looking at the cover art, it really does have a unicorn kind of similarity, because uh, I think that this is very similar to how the unicorn Gundam high grade uh, cover art box actually looked. But regardless, let's just go ahead and take a look at the front cover. So take a look at the cover art, you are going to see the Sananju Stein, this is going to be the narrative version right up in there, but then if you look all the way over here, you're definitely going to be able to see the Phoenix Unicorn. This kit was also made in 2019. Number 222 in the High Grade Universal Century line. And once again, no retail price right here, but you're gonna be able to pick it up for roughly around $22 to $25. And looking over here on the side, you're gonna have a front and rear shot. Uh, overall, it doesn't look bad. I actually really like the cycle frame. A lot of what is uh, kind of like exposed still uh, definitely looks incomplete, but you know, ultimately it does not look bad. Next, we have those beautiful action poses. Uh, I haven't really decided on how I'm going to actually pose mine. The beam saber and the shield looks really damn good. Uh, but I'm probably just going to utilize that beam rifle, you know, just to the fullest extent. And this kit, of course, is going to have those gimmicks. It's pretty much going to be exactly the same as the uh, the APAC narrative Gundam. I think maybe just some armor is going to be, you know, a little bit edited, especially for the knees. Uh, other than that, everything looks to be exactly the same. So those gimmicks are definitely going to carry down. And you got some story right here. And you have a little illustration battle between him and the Neo Zeong. Now it's time to open this up. So we're starting off with runner A1 and A2. This is going to be all the white armor. Uh, so you got the face plate. You are going to have uh, little parts of the waist right here. You got parts for the feet and more of the legs. You got face plates, uh, beam sabers, and so on and so forth. Uh, so just a lot of nice white parts. Uh, pretty good detail. I, I like the little Vulcans in there. Uh, other than that, pretty much uh, basic and runner b1 and b2 is going to be your inner frame so this i don't know maybe it's just me but it looks kind of plain like uh not as interesting as i thought it was going to look uh i don't know, actually maybe i don't know what i was really looking for but yeah just it doesn't look as extravagant as far as inner frame for something that uh, is kind of coming after you know the moon gundam so i was actually just expecting just a little bit more uh some of it does have some pretty good details in it uh, i do like the little hoses and everything the little um pistons all inside the little leg parts but other than that uh just looking a little more kind of just plain and on to runner C, so this color, uh, I guess, I, I don't know, I guess it works for the narrative Gundam, but this gray just looks a little off to me. Um, I, I probably would have liked it if it was a little bit darker. Uh, maybe that's just me. But yeah, this gray is kind of eh. Uh, you got the little V-fin right up here, and you are going to have some red right down there, and then some clear parts over here. So overall, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I just, I'm, this is something I kind of think about painting. Uh, so I see a lot of parts for like the shoulders and so on and so forth. But yeah, other than that, it, it doesn't really look too, too bad. Um, but yeah, we'll see if I paint it. And runner D is going to be that nice blue. Uh, so this is pretty much like the uh, the actual unicorn blue. Uh, but you got parts for the feet, backpack, and everything. So looks pretty good. Um, I might actually go ahead and paint these little thrusters right here underneath the feet. Because I actually didn't know the feet had thrusters underneath them like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, it looks pretty damn good. And here is your cycle frame. So, of course, red cycle frame. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'm probably going to paint this. Uh, I don't really know what color or what I'm going to do. But uh, the, the plain red and this just tone, I, I, I can't really get behind it. So, I'm going to paint it in a different you know, color. Or I might actually make the red more vibrant. Um, I don't know. I, I'll decide. I haven't really decided what I want to do with it yet. Uh, but it's not really much, so painting this should be very quick and easy and uh, to the point. And runner F2 is going to be the cockpit, so that's the little blue piece right there in the front. 
Runner G is going to be more white, so a lot of this is going to be uh, just armor, and you got the shield right inside there. Other than that, I mean, that's pretty much all you're going to get. Uh, looks like a lot of this is going to be the connectors for the actual cycle frame, but, you know, regardless, it looks pretty good, uh, so cannot wait to put it together. And Runner H is going to be more inner frame, but then you're also going to have uh, the beam magnum right here, or beam rifle right there, and just other little parts just kind of scattered. So, yeah, this is pretty much going to be more of your inner frame. Uh, looks like a lot of it's going to be more for the connection of the cycle frame parts, uh, you know, mainly in the legs down here. Uh, but regardless, that's going to be it for all the main runners. Your standard polycap sheet. A very small sticker sheet, but it's kind of, you know, unique that it's going to come with red eyes and green. Um, just to clarify, I haven't actually watched a narrative movie yet. Uh, I, I will eventually watch. Don't, don't, get, don't get me wrong. Maybe I'll just watch a 25 minute short. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know the significance of it. I don't really want to spoil myself. Uh, I'd rather just watch the movie and see if uh, this has any kind of significance. And you're gonna get this nice Gundam narrative mechanical report. So this is pretty cool. You're gonna get some illustrations and descriptions. Unfortunately, a lot of it, or pretty much all of it, is not gonna be in English. Uh, so you really can't read it unless you understand language or you get a translator. But it's gonna show the narrative Gundam. It's gonna show all the different packs. So I think that's actually really damn cool. And I would love to see this kind of just include it more into um, you know modern day kids. I would just to have like the little illustrations like this. That's that's actually really neat. And it'll show you little snippets from the movie. Uh, but overall, look, I mean, it looks really good and just shows you the actual development of the narrative since this is a prototype, so they brought, you know, definitely taken aspects from other mobile suits. But yeah, and then you get the product placement down here. And lastly, we are going to have that manual, so nothing too unique or indifferent here. It's going to be your same manual like always, so that's about it, guys. I uh, just want to get this unboxing done for you guys real quick so I can start moving on to the building and painting process. Now, I'm not going to be building this anytime soon because uh, I'm going to spend the night over at the hospital with my wife. And probably tomorrow I'm going to be super busy trying to get a lot of things done, such as uh, bringing the baby back to the house. And then I got to start doing the birth certificate, social security card, so on and so forth. Uh, but when I do have a little bit of downtime, I'll start working on this kit. Uh, but I do have one other kit I'm trying to you know paint and finish up so that way I can do the review for that uh, but regardless you know looks pretty good overall I am liking uh, all the different poses and the cycle frame to me I, th I think I think it's fine I know, lot, I know a lot of people has been kind of picking on it saying it looks like salmon or whatever but you know what I, I think it looks fine but that's it for me guys definitely appreciate all of you for watching this video and like always please like comment if you have not subscribed please subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications but it's all for me i'll be seeing y'all in the next video bye bye